So now let's convert this base 10, uh, number, 3575, into Mayan numerals. So the first thing we're gonna have to do is convert it into a base 20 number, because remember the Mayan system is base 20. So we're gonna have our, uh, 1's place, our 20's place, our 400's place, and the next place would be the 8,000's place, which is bigger than we need here. So first, we're gonna take 3575 and divide it by 400. So 400 divided by 3575, uh, let's see, it divides in 8 times with a remainder of 8, remainder 375. I think I got these numbers swapped around here. Uh, so this is using the remainder approach, right? So now we bring down the 375 and we divide by 20. So 375 divided by 20 is going to, uh, go in, let's see here, 1 is 17, 2, and then I think that's 8 is 160, remainder 15. So is 18, remainder 15, and then 15 divided into 1's is 15. And so there is our number. We got 8, 18, and 15, uh, and this is base 20. Now I'm using commas here to separate the place values because the numbers within each place value are bigger than 10, and that looks weird in, in, uh, our normal numbering system. So I'm using the commas to separate the place values there. Okay, so now that we know what our number is in base 20, we can go and draw it in the Mayan n number system. So these are our ones. The ones go on the bottom. Remember, a line is used to represent 5 and a dot is used to represent a 1. So to get 15, I'm gonna draw 3 lines along the bottom. So then, 18 is in our next place value up. So we're gonna leave some space and then draw an 18. So 18 is 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. So there is our 20's place. And then finally, our 400's place will go on top. 400's place goes on top and that's 8. 8 would be 5. 6, 7, 8. And so there is the number 3575 base 10 written in Mayan numerals.